Hi guys, this is Sarah. Uh, this is my 365 days of experiencing God, day 2. This time, I want to read Isaiah 6, 5. It says, Walk to me, I cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I have lived among the people of unclean lips. And my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Isaiah might have might have satisfied it, and he he thought it was pretty okay to live uh, satisfied with his life because in Old Testament the people practiced religion like it was like going to school. But after he saw Lord God Almighty, after he personally experienced God, he he says I'm ruined. He says he he is totally ruined. So I remember when I first met God. I, I thought I was, I thought I thought I had to take off all my clothes because I was so literally I felt like I was so dirty, and um, I uh, I think it's the same for the uh, same for Isaiah. When you look at when you look at God personally, and when you experience God, then you get to realize and you get to evaluate realistically who you are. Like you see who you are and how you get to repent. It's just so natural that you get to repent your sin because God is so big. Um, to to realistically evaluate your life, if you're experiencing, and you're, if you're walking with God or not, is to look at your behavior and attitude towards, uh, and your action toward in in your life, in in your everyday life. That if you have changed then you are probably walking with God um, every day and you have changed. But if, if not, if not as uh, your life has not been changed since you, since you met God, then probably you need more time to pray, more time to read Bible, so you can personally, you can transform inside out. Because God has power to change you to be like Jesus Christ, His Son. That's why I'm doing this project. This is the whole point of this project too. I want to be like him. I want to. Uh, I know God wants me to be um, his child, and he and wants me to be like to live like Jesus. But I know I'm not. So I started. Pro I started this project, and hopefully, I can walk with God. And I don't. Uh, I maintain. I maintain this devotion and a dedication to God, so that my life is not not, not mine, but His. Absolutely His, so that He can use me when He establishes kingdom. So. He wants to be holy as He is holy. So let's pray for, and then let's expect something totally different other than ourselves in our life.